Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. It's so funny because I never thought about this. I've been making a video on this. Um, you should not trust a DJ that plays off Wi-Fi or Spotify for your wedding. Roll the intro. Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex Ramey from DJ Cut Entertainment, and I just got off a phone call, and my client was really stressing about, I don't know if we can have a DJ. We don't have Wi-Fi at our house, and it's really spotty, and I just don't think we can have a DJ. And I had to stop her, and I said, why, why is Wi-Fi important about having a DJ? And she's like, well, all the DJs I talk to, um, they need Wi-Fi to play off Spotify, and I was just dumbfounded when I heard this answer. Uh, this My DJ computer hasn't even touched the internet whatsoever. So I kind of want to talk about this. Yes, I know DJing off Spotify and using Wi-Fi to get songs. Uh, as a DJ, it would make my job so much easier. But to me, it also scares the living crap out of me because I don't want to have to get to a venue and ever have to worry about Wi-Fi. I don't even want to DJ in a nightclub and have to worry about uh, getting Wi-Fi signal. So all the music that I get, it's all put on my computer. And so I really don't think you should be trusting a DJ that's going to be playing off Spotify and off Wi-Fi. Now, I do think Spotify is a great tool. It does make a DJ's job uh, very easy if he wants to play off of it. I choose not to go that route. Uh, on my website, we have all our playlists that are done through Spotify. The actual day of the event, all the music is on our computer, so we have a hard copy. Now, outside of Wi-Fi, there's another reason why I don't like playing off Spotify. One, because the sound levels of all the songs are all recorded different. And if I was just to play off Wi-Fi, the sound levels would be different and it'd be hard to gauge those sound levels. Not only that, but the ends of the songs have a lot of dead air. And so if I was just to play like cocktail mix off Wi-Fi, no playing dinner mixes off of Wi-Fi and Spotify are really popular you had that dead air in between and i i want to have control of those times uh worst case scenario i'll take all those songs i'll download those songs and i'll make them into a mix and so that way i can control the volumes and get rid of the dead air i think there's nothing more unprofessional than hiring a professional dj and you have dead air uh in between the song so for me personally i would never rely on spotify or wi-fi at a wedding it's just a chance that I don't want to take, and I don't think that if you're hiring a professional, you should rely on. I mean, if you're having a family member, or you're doing the DIY, or you know the iPod DJ, then I totally get it. I understand. But when you're paying for professional service, I don't think this is something that should come up. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm not a fan of relying off Wi-Fi. It just makes me cringe. Uh, let me know down below. Thank you guys very much for watching this video.